completely right. pale. So I'm gonna turn she to my uh, gang happening. members and say, right, uh, guys, where are your bikes? <laughs> They're outside for walls, boss. We're not allowed. To, we wouldn't have to bring them in. Fuck. Okay, uh, you guys stay here uh, with the rest of the guests. We, uh, me and my friends are gonna need to borrow the bikes. Don't worry. If they get damaged uh, or anything, I'll make sure boss. to make it up to you guys. But we gotta get them. Boss, he's like peeking out the window. I think it's a little late for that. Fucking hell. You mean everything's the destroyed fort. out there? No. They've got this place surrounded. And there's all you... He goes, and somebody's coming towards the door. I'm gonna rush towards the door, see you coming. Outside, you witness these things waiting around Yeah, I was, the I was about to say the street is full of basilisk wardroids or something. What? Is this distinctly Mandalorian stuff? Yes, this is, is 100%. These are Mandalorian siege droids that Mandalorians literally ride on top of into planetary battle. Does that mean I recognize them? Yes, that's why I said you were having flashbacks, because these things were used on many wars. I'm just gonna scream on the top of my lungs, Astrid! Over here, please, now! I'm gonna kind of rip off my veil. There's, there's no point wearing it now. You can just see I'm just kind of look of dread on my face. You all back off. They're here for me. What the hell do you mean they're here for you? They're here to collect me and take me back to Mandalore. Are you sure you don't want me to arrange seating arrangements for the Miss Astrid? Yes, If they want you, do. they're coming Let's... through me. Charge is the pistol. Jack, don't. Actually, as you're readying that, through one of the opaque curtain windows, and one of the Mandalorians bursts through. I'm gonna immediately draw my sword. Oh, by the way, um, I I just throw my coat at Astrid. He's pointing what seems to be an assault, well, basically an assault blaster towards you people. And he's like, you can see he's heavily breathing as he stands up. Now through the door, another Mandalorian was walking straight towards it. Lay down your arms now. The one, uh, I'll just call him by the names, Theodore Findor, is speaking. You better not fucking shoot anyone, or I swear to God. Then I'm pointing is... directly at Fendor. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna raise my blaster and step up next to her and go, you're trespassing. Jack, put the gun down. You cannot kill I... Put the coat on, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can take him. Yeah, I've got my you weapon two... uh, drawn as well. You have two options. Come with us now. Or risk this turning into a battle when the Republic arrive. <sighs> Just don't kill anyone. Fine. Come on, stupid fucking... Galleon, <laughs> you know, he turns around and Galleon is like, damn it, <sighs> fine. And he's like, he's actually going to climb through the window once more. <laughs> he <actually laughs> he's down. he's like, God, the window. I had to put myself through this goddamn window. God damn it. Astrid just kind of face palms as he starts bitching about climbing through a window. <laughs> I just step in closer and just whisper to her, they aren't taking you. Just... Jack, I would like you to meet someone. Uh, this is Thendora Lenai. He's my dad. One second. Now I'm gonna... <clears throat> his information is now changed, and as he reaches up, he removes his helmet and stares towards you, Astrid. We must be ahead of time. I was about to behead the fucker, or as she was about to jump. I, will I just... must say, this is awfully rude. We put a lot of preparation to this wedding, and you've just ruined it. <laughs> oh, Ifo and uh, Sam are either side of the door with their weapons drawn as well. They're waiting for, like, what you guys are going to do. I, um... 
I, I just give him the, the symbol of fuck off. Just just they out while no one's looking at you. <laughs> As in the same gesture I would have given him when we got rumbled back in mm. the academy. <laughs> you Fair two slip out the back. I'll take the heat. <laughs> they're they're nodding and they're they're going away they're going into the doors and closing the secondary doors from the people. Good. Because Sam came here in a ship. And Sam is a good pilot. <laughs> I'm coming. Just, just call off the fucking everything, okay? There's no reason to kill anybody here. At this point, a dropship is coming down. They're not involved. They didn't know about anything. Hmm. We're not leaving her. Then How did you guys issue. even find me? I was so careful. It was rather a public affair. Galleons were one who was searching. Figures. <laughs> Apparently, a hut told us and congratulated us. Thankfully, we removed the information. I'm just gonna kinda nod. He's gonna actually reach a hand out towards you, Astrid. Please. <laughs> if it'll stop you from blowing anything else up. I guess I have to. No, I that whispered to her. So, oh, yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. at this point I'm going with, uh, Thendor. Yeah, it's like, if your friends wish to meet you again, then all they have to do is follow us to these coordinates. In other words, I'm giving you a chance to take your ship there if you want, so you don't leave it behind. <laughs> I guess Jack got scot free for sending that invitation to the wedding. It would seem I did, Experta. It would seem I did. <laughs> it would seem the person in trouble here is you. Uh, well, I'm not leaving her, so... I should inform the rest of you as to what's happening. Oh, well, yeah, I, I think it's kind of obvious what's going to happen right now. Would you like us to meet you at those coordinates with the ship, Captain? Yeah. Very well. <laughs> oh, wow, this must be tense. He's letting other people fly the yeah. ship. <laughs> Me too. I walk over and hand him the keys. And you know that thing I do on practically about 8% of the people I meet? <laughs> um... On this, I do the reverse version. Uh, as I hand him the keys, I also slip into his hand a tracker, as in to track me, mm -hmm. uh, and he should be able to hear what I'm hearing as well. <laughs> I, I bugged myself and gave him the remote. B2's head just moves a fraction of a mount and takes the key. Don't okay. touch the ship. <laughs> Theodore is already getting onto uh, the dropship while the Basilisk war droids are getting ready to take off back into the atmosphere. Uh, so Astrid, Core, are you going? Jack, are you going? Oh, I'm I'm not being separated from her, so I'm going wherever. Okay. They're I'll they're go going. with them. I'll put my weapon right. away. And the others are taking the ship to meet you up at certain coordinates, yeah? Very much. Okay Correct. then. Okay, as you split off from each other, Galleon, the one who burst through the window before, stomps over and is uh, basically behind the three of you as you head towards the drop, drop ship. Oh, by the way, um, Ash, were there like uh, handouts for him or not? Just curious. Of who? Galleon? The Mandalorians, basically. Yeah, I've been shimming them. Uh, we I haven't seen any of them. Oh, because you only shared them to me. That's weird. Top I said to all players. Yeah, I, I thought you, you have might to change That's it why again. I was double checking it. You have to change it again. Oh, there we okay, are. Okay, there we go. That's weird. <laughs> that, there we go. That's Pip Palmer. <laughs> and that's Ger and that's uh, Galleon. And I said he took his helmet off before. One second. Mate, Thendor oh. has the pimpest armor. Fabulous! <laughs> <laughs> Real men wear pink, man. It's purple, purple, actually, but yeah. Whatever. 
And that's is, and that's his face. Oh, does he also have a market card. outsider? Yes. <laughs> uh, so, there basically spell off. Fyodor gets... Uh, Fendor. Not Fyodor. Fendor gets onto the dropship first and motions you on board. All I get. Gonna follow. All right. Galleon is uh, gonna try getting on, but Fendor puts up a hand to Galleon. It's like, take back the basilisk, otherwise we'll be one short. He's like, Galleon's like, what do you mean? You can't just end the wind from the <laughs> dropship taking off. He's like pushing it back and say, like, God damn it! Fine. <laughs> he's, start, he's going over towards the basilisk. I'm just gonna lean over to Jack and Cora. Galen gets a bit excited. Constantly. You hear being from below. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll <laughs> be hey, your brother then? No, he's my closest friend. How is he still alive? What's... What do you mean? No offense, Astrid, but he doesn't seem very capable. He's fine. <laughs> he just kind of gives you a look. Slightly challenged. <laughs> what he lacks in physical strength, he makes up for in passion. Yeah, I think I got it. Now, do I'm you want to tell us shit. why your dad that is super pissed style. at us instead of being <laughs> a, you know, a present like a normal person? Yeah, let's just say they're not all for the wedding. Fendor well, has reached up to his helmet once more to remove it. And looks over towards you, Astrid. As if he's just staring, compent like, contemplating things. I'm just gonna stare back with a slightly guilty expression. With only you people within the dropship, he's gonna reach out a hand towards you. I'm not gonna move. I flinch. <laughs> I flinch. <laughs> I cross my I'm arms. Just, I, I'm literally on a hair trigger. The second something <laughs> kicks off, he's getting a dumbo knife right up his ass. <laughs> he he seems a bit dejected as you don't move, and he lowers his hand once more. Oh wait, what was he doing? I thought he was gonna touch me. What was exactly no, was he, he was doing? Off, he was offering his hand towards you. I guess I'll take his hand. Ah, okay. He's gonna basically draw you in and embrace you. I'll hug him back. I did miss you. Been so long. You know why I left. He gives a small nod, stoic as always, before he reaches down, picks his helmet up, and presses it back on his head. I know. Anyway, I guess I should introduce my two friends here. This is Cora. She's a very close friend of mine, and this is Jack. He's my fiance. This was our wedding, which you crashed. <laughs> he looks a little shocked by that. I see. So you are the one. He's staring towards you, Jack. Meanwhile, I've got the same posture of when I am absolutely sure shit's about to kick off, you know? As casual as I can make it look while having hands close to at least four weapons. <laughs> while we were knowledgeable about the current events between you and my daughter, I have to thank you. If it was not for your invite, we would not know exactly where to show up. I just kind of <laughs> turn around immediately and give Jack a look like, what the fuck? I changed her slightly guilty expression, though. Well, I did try and find them. 
just... I'm just gonna... I'm immediately just glaring at you. You know I, what you did. I didn't give them an address. <laughs> I continue my glare. <laughs> You're in so much trouble. We're all in so much trouble. <sighs> Look, there's no point in... Well, dancing around it at this point. No, I wasn't kicked off Mandalore for doing something. I left voluntarily. And that's because I'm supposed to be getting married to somebody else. And now I have to. Oh dear. Just so we're clear, I'm not getting you a second wedding present. I already committed, so you gotta marry Jack. <laughs> I don't have a choice in the matter. That's why I jumped planet in the first place. And thank you two for telling people where I was and inviting my clan to the wedding when I specifically told you not to do that exact thing. How long did it take to invite them after I uh, told you not to? I get the guilty childlike smile and go, I have two days. <sighs> it was hard tracking them down. She just kind of shakes her head. She's obviously extremely mad. But you can't get married. Unfortunately, it's neither of our decisions. They're too late. Findor is actually silent during all this. Look, look, uh, look, Yash. Mm hmm? Uh, before I say they're too late, look, I would like to sleight of hand the ring on her. <laughs> you can do. Because they didn't see much of the wedding, so as far as they're concerned, if it's done, then it's uh, done. My sleight of hand is trained, so get the blue dice. Is Skull Dungry, I believe, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh wait, it's called Dougery? I don't think I can. Fuck. Kick. That doesn't matter. Oh, thank god. Okay. Wait, you have no three green and skull dagger? What the fuck kind of smuggler are you? <laughs> the kind that mostly so... uses street mice as a charm. <laughs> so, uh... So you succeed, you get the ring on her, but he... Bendor doesn't even look and go... You assume your Corellian wedding matter to the Mandalorians. Fine. Who is it she's supposed to marry? You um He won such a right. I challenge him. Uh, Jack? What is gonna... I can not fall. What are you? <sighs> Some things you have to do yourself. Um... I don't care who he is. I challenge him. It's a freaking Mandalorian, Jack, are you? <laughs> I, I give you the same look as I gave you before you asked me if I was sure I wanted to fight a Sith Lord. <laughs> you are um, crazy, I'm sure. She actually uh, comes to a look of realization and turns around to her father. Speaking of which, whatever happened with Galen and Yulin's fight, I jumped ship during it. Turning around, he... But moves his cloak around him as you're getting more into deep space. He's old, he doesn't like my gold. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, translation, yes. maybe. <laughs> that fight, Yulian bested him, as I said. You agreed to that conflict, and so he won the right. If a new challenger approaches, then he must prove himself worthy. I'm just gonna kind of look over at Jack and I kind of... 
pitying, slightly doubtful look, like, there's no way. No, I, I look determined as fuck. I've already made up my mind, I can do this. Uh, yeah, Ash, quick question. this is a good idea. Mm -hmm. Question from my past, would I know because Mandalorians are all about honor, there's no way the Republic doesn't know about that. Uh, is it possible in an honor duel to appoint a second or an eighth, somebody that can help you? You may, but it is on the conditions of the duel, and the one being challenged can set such conditions. He gets to pick the weapons, I do believe. Probably. Basically, challenging somebody puts you at a disadvantage. Yeah, uh, yeah, they get to choose the weapons, and I do believe I get to choose the ground. Yeah, essentially you pick where they pick how. Uh, I'm gonna yeah. whisper him. Jack, if you're gonna do at least a point, crazy son of a bitch, a point help you. Fine. <laughs> Such matters will have to be handled soon. Looking up, the basilisks are finally getting inside the ship. He closes the dropship door and it pressurizes. Your mother waits on the ship. <clears throat> Just loud groaning from Astrid. <laughs> you can actually see him nodding like, I know. <laughs> Looks like his head's a mother wearing the pants in that family as well. Hey yo! Sorry, she's just a strong, independent Mandalorian. Doesn't need no basilisk. She isn't actually Mandalorian. Well, in spirit. But <laughs> <laughs> your mom's a Mandalorian, and that was okay. Yeah. Mandalorians fuck who they want to. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, that's beautiful. I sure as shit, eh? Now, let us move to a ship. Yeah, also, uh, Ash, uh, mm -hmm. really do wish I had enough XP last session to buy that agility increase. This is gonna be real tough. <laughs> <laughs> agility increase? You need, like, proper fucking melee training, mate. Move it uh, in. I have melee trained. <laughs> in blasters. <laughs> Moving into the Mandalorian Dreadnought, it suddenly starts to s take off. Of course, I suspect the other two are getting in your ship off the ground as well, as it's clear that the Republic are already responding. As soon as they enter space, they immediately start opening fire on the Mandalorian ship, which bounces off ineffectively, as the ship just bolts away. This guy, by the way, is the reason I wanted to soup up the guns on the Icarus. <laughs> we can soup up the guns all we like. Armor. It's not going to take that thing out. It's like <laughs> fucking Star Destroyer size. <laughs> I mean, I can take out the Death Star if you give me a ship small enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, there's no obvious weak point. There's no, there's no duct. No, there's, they've got one very obvious weak point. I'm not piloting their ship. Oh, that's true. Oh my god. You, you forget, Ash. Um, the, the crazy bit about me is I just have all the confidence in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I never-ending supply of it. It's, it's why Mandalorians <laughs> like me. <laughs> mm. Now, you are now on a fully operational Mandalorian battleship. One of the very, very few left. In fact, you saw a model kind of like this when you went to that when you went to the scrapped version. So you know the basic layout of the thing. You are currently being escorted down the halls to the captain's private chambers. Have they still not removed their weapons? No. And Obviously... somebody's cocky. <laughs> they think not very much of you. <laughs> Nobody They're tell them my real name. <laughs> Astra just kind of just has a look of dread on her face as they continue heading forward towards her mother. <clears throat> right. And uh, the good thing is we don't have to explain things out of character because everyone on our ship can also hear. 
Yay! Yep. Uh, that's, Ash. Why, that's, that's why I did not even <laughs> question. Ash, how mm -hmm. close am I to Todor Aleni? Uh, you can, can you consider us in a range that we're engaged? Yeah. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a first for. Let's see how it works. I am going to use force power. What? What are you doing to my dad? Kick. Sick. Let's see how it goes. No, no, it's okay, guys. She's never used the force before. It's gonna go great. <laughs> Against a Mandalorian. Wow. Uh, right. So I'm not sure what that means. Like uh, usually, CB because he's a light side character, he light side points that also work for uh, me that way. It, okay. So here's the thing. Unless you've at some point gone below 25 conflict, you are always considered to be light side for the pur purpose of force powers. Yeah, Which even means if you're that balanced. if you want to use that point, uh, you will get one like, one force point for that. But if you want to use it, that means you're going to have to take one strain, flip one destiny dice, which you cannot do because we don't have any, uh, and take one conflict. So I'm assuming that means that me trying to use the power just failed. Mm -hmm. Yep. So I need to tell you what I was trying to do, or you can tell me, yeah, if it's. Uh, I was trying to sense uh, his thoughts. Uh, spent a force die, user senses the current thoughts of one living target with whom he is engaged. I wanted to see what her father was thinking right now. Oh. Wait, you don't have a force dice? There it is, that's uh, the dice. Having, like, we, had, we had one uh, light, like, light uh, side destiny point, which he would need to flip in order to use oh, that. Oh, hang on. Uh, I well, used the one we had. Yeah, yeah, I didn't. I forgot to spend one when they crash landed in. Okay, so, I wanna use it. I'm gonna oh, take the strain and the conflict. I wanna read his thoughts right now. <laughs> okay, I immediately give you back, and you're like, here, have it back. Okay. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, no, I remember no, now. Don't I leave any before. for Jack. He doesn't need them. It's fine. Don't <laughs> no, worry about fine. it. I wanna, I wanna read his <laughs> thoughts. What is he thinking about? It's fine. Currently, you feel that he's thinking about. He's uncomfortable. Why? Like, this, like, he's honor bound to do what he's doing, but he doesn't fully agree with it. Uh, I'm gonna nudge Jack and whisper into his ear. I sense father appreciation, and that's all I'm gonna tell him. Uh, he, he's a smart man, he knows what to do with that info. Hopefully. There's a disturbance in the force. Your friends will arrive soon. I have much to handle. Please. He gestures towards the captain's cabin for you guys. Astra just kind of stares at the door, kind of dreading before walking in. As you walk inside and Fendor is off to do his captain's duties to make sure the ship isn't currently on fire, you meet one moment. Oh, okay, good. I, the way you described that, I thought she might have been a ship mistress. <laughs> Doesn't bode well. You meet this woman. A rather non-Mandalorian looking woman. Hi, Mother. Astrid. She's walking up to you and is like, kind of straight like looking at your wedding dress strangely and he's like trying to fix your hair <sighs> why do you have to be so difficult sometimes yeah, it's just who I am I guess and who are your friends ah uh, this is Cora She's a very close friend of mine, and this is Jack. He's my fiance. You really weren't what I was expecting. Nice to meet you. <laughs> so you go in and give her a kiss on the hand? She accepts this. She's holding herself not like a Mandalorian, but more like a noble. I see. I thought you didn't want to get married. I didn't want to get married to Yulin or Gallum. And you would leave your clan to be consumed for this. 
Well, you all weren't giving me much of a choice. You had a choice, but you didn't want to fight him. That has always been the way. And you refused. Galen stood in your stead and lost. I will leave you be for now, until you calm down. She's gonna currently, uh, like, go towards the door to leave you in the captain's quarters, locking the door behind her, of course. Within the captain's quarters, there is a first and second floor. The second floor is obviously the bedroom part. The middle part is a large open space with hunting trophies, with even the crest of the great hunt on one wall. There's ca the carpet's made out of some foreign, comfortable material, red and fluffy. Um, Astrid's just kind of give a shuddering sigh or outtake of breath, and just gonna kind of sit down while putting two of her fingers to, like, pinch her nose. I think by this point, the others will also be able to land on the battleship with your ship and would be escorted towards the cabin. Have you seen this? Come on, T-Rex! <laughs> fuck you, bitch! Yes, the building, collateral damage! Fuck, Rex, with damage! I'm in a giant-ass bro!